preparing kids for high skill, high wage, high demand jobs. A rural school in South Central Nebraska opens a cutting edge career facility. It's the first of its kind in rural Nebraska as Sandy Creek helps kids make real world career connections. Like, that was literally my answer. She may not have all of life's answers, but Ramey Hendricks has some figured out with plans to study wildlife biology, thanks to three mentors of the field before ever leaving high school. Even in Chicago. And so, I mean, I already have names of people that I could probably use to help me get my first job if I do decide to go and work at a zoo. Starting from head to toe. Apollo gets a checkup from future physician's assistant Sam Galloway in a classroom just off the front door at Sandy Creek High School. It actually looks pretty similar to an actual actual hospital room. They're among the first students in a program known as NCAPS. The Nebraska Center for uh, something. I'm at a loss. Professional something. <laughs> I just know it's Nebraska Career Readiness Program. The Nebraska Center for Advanced Professional Studies. This career-focused model is the first of its kind in rural Nebraska, preparing kids for high-wage, high-skill, high-demand jobs. Uh, we really are trying to grow our own and uh, promote rural Nebraska right here. So um, we give students the opportunity to see if it's something they want to do. They can try out different pathways. A lot of times they find out that one is not for them, which we believe that is very valuable as well. Students are also paired with professionals. After time with an interior designer and elementary teacher, Sam chose medicine and will graduate with college credit. I think I'm going to have a step ahead, I mean, because I have experience with the medical field now. While Ramey has her sights set on wildlife biology, thanks in part to egg classes she didn't think she'd be interested in, but learned otherwise. When I'll go to my plant science college class and we'll be doing a lot of hands-on work with plant samples, or we'll go to government, and I'm learning government a lot easier than I ever thought I would because we do a lot of projects hands-on. Three, two, one. <laughs> Governor Pete Ricketts celebrated a ribbon cutting with Sandy Creek, saying it's all about kids like Sam and Ramey. It really is a wonderful opportunity to help kids explore career options and work on getting an education to prepare them to take those careers. Governor Ricketts says this should serve as a model of not only what rural schools can do, but what urban communities can do as well. Steve White, NTV News, Sandy Creek. That expansion also benefits FFA and egg education. Sandy Creek has two egg instructors. Teachers say the NCAPS facility gives them a lot of options. They're able to do everything from animal science to precision egg and more. We have our lab here at the school, our lab facility, and then we, outside the lab we have our launch pad. So we're just doing like a regular old school kind of lecture lesson. And then we also have a really nice kind of state-of-the-art greenhouse. And then we also have an animal lab where we have some breeding does and uh, a couple llamas. So. Goldfuss says he's fortunate to work in a school that puts an emphasis on career education and so they get creative incorporating math and science into their lessons. Sandy Creek this week also joined the growing number of Nebraska schools that has a local beef in schools program. And that's going to do it for Grow on Location at Raising Nebraska as we celebrate National Agriculture Week. Catch us again next time as we see how agriculture helps Nebraska grow.